everyone. Welcome back to Building Games on AWS. This is episode seven of the Game Analytics Pipeline series. My name is Gina Gizzi. I am a solutions architect with AWS Game Tech. And in today's episode, we're going to do a deep dive on streaming analytics. So we'll take a closer look at the streaming analytics architecture that's used in the Game Analytics Pipeline solution. And we'll discuss some of the services that are used as well. And then follow that up with a demo of what that actually looks like in the AWS Management Console. So let's get started. So here is how streaming analytics or near real time analytics is done with the game analytics pipeline. So we're using four different services here. Amazon Kinesis Data Streams is the first service, which is pretty much the gateway into AWS here. Last episode, we showed how to integrate our Unity game with our Kinesis Data Stream. So Kinesis Data Streams is basically just our near real time streaming service for data using your own custom consumer and producer applications. In this case, our custom producer application from which we're sending all of our data from is our Unity game client. So we send our data to Kinesis data streams, which ingests our telemetry data. And then for real-time analytics, this data is then sent to Amazon Kinesis data analytics for SQL applications, which generates real-time custom metrics using streaming SQL queries. So these real-time custom metrics are then sent to an AWS Lambda function to be processed and sent to CloudWatch. To send those custom metrics to Amazon CloudWatch, we need to execute AWS SDK code. Uh, since Lambda lets us execute code in the cloud in a serverless fashion, Lambda is used here to process the metrics and send them to CloudWatch using the AWS SDK. So this solution uses Amazon CloudWatch to not only monitor and log the solution's various resources, but also to store the real-time generated metrics from Kinesis Data Analytics so that we can visualize those metrics using a real-time dashboard. Just a reminder, this is all already deployed for us using CloudFormation. So let's see what this looks like in action. So first, we need to go back to Cloud9 to make sure that our script is generating sample game events. So if you're unsure of how to set this up, you can refer back to either episode four of the series where I walk through step by step how to deploy sample game events using Cloud9. Or you can also check out the deployment guide for the solution, which I'll link in the description below, which walks you through it as well. But just make sure that we're sending data so we can see that every few seconds or so it, it's sending 100 records to our Kinesis data streams for the game analytics pipeline. So now that the data is sending, let's go to Kinesis data analytics. So if you're unsure how to get here, just click in the search bar and type in Kinesis find the Kinesis service, click that, and you'll see that there's a couple of different types of Kinesis uh, streams that we're working with. We have data streams, data firehose, and data analytics. Specifically, we want to take a look at data analytics. So we're going to click into here, see that we have one total data analytics application, and we'll see that we have one that's associated with the game analytics pipeline solution, which is spun up uh, with the CloudFormation template that we, we spun up in an earlier episode of this video series. So click into here to see configuration details about it and we can see things like the source of where our data is coming from. So it's coming from the Kinesis data streams that's associated with the game analytics pipeline solution as well. You can see the destination which is two separate Lambda functions. One specifically is only for error handling uh, and the second one is a destination stream for successfully processed data. Uh, so if you want to take a look at, at you know, what the Lambda function is doing further, you can click into it to open it up to view its configuration details. You can also look at the code that's linked in the GitHub repository on the landing page of the Game Analytics Pipeline solution if you want to further understand the code behind what the Lambda functions are actually doing. But for now, let's just click Go to SQL re Results so that we can view the real-time analytics. So with Kinesis Real-Time Analytics, it's populated with a SQL query that's ran on all of the streaming data. So with this, you can create custom SQL queries and do things like 
run a continuous filter on all of your data. Right now, this SQL query tracks usage behavior and it aggregates metrics to power a live dashboard that's in CloudWatch. Um, and it does this by generating custom metrics over a pre-configured interval, which can be customized if you choose to do so. You can also modify the queries here, uh, as well as the application schema if you choose to do that as well. And so we can see that here's all of our data that's being filtered and is being sent to our destination stream, which is our Lambda function. And from there, the Lambda function uses the AWS SDK code to create custom CloudWatch metrics to send it to a live operational dashboard, which looks like this. So this is Amazon CloudWatch. And basically with this solution, CloudWatch is monitoring, it's logging, and it also can generate alarms for different operational events and for our AWS infrastructure. And so this CloudWatch operational health dashboard really is for key solution metrics such as monitoring events processing and real-time analytics infrastructure. You can see things like error counts, kinesis latency, the rate of data ingestion, your data freshness, the performance and health of your game analytics pipeline. It's also configured with several CloudWatch alarms that generate alerts when certain AWS resources exceed utilization thresholds or when error status thresholds are breached, which might possibly indicate a potential operational issue. Just to clarify, again, this comes out of the box with the solution ready for you. You don't need to set this up yourself, but you can customize it as you wish. And you can also send whatever metrics you want to CloudWatch to view them in real time. So not only is it good for operational metrics, but you can also send game events as well if you'd like. And if you're having issues with seeing this data in real time, you can make sure to change the interval to one minute. Uh, you can turn on auto refresh. So I have refresh uh, set to an interval of 10 seconds here. And under actions, you can make sure to override live data. So turn live data on so that you'll actually see the dashboards refreshing right in front of you and seeing that near real time data coming in. So that's it for today's episode. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll do a deep dive on batch and interactive analytics. As always, if there are any tutorials that you would like to see, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And thanks, everyone.